right, day eight. Oh. Last week, around this time, we were really wondering how long I was gonna be here. And uh, we are officially committed to me being here until 37 weeks for the plan C-section. I spoke to my OB this morning. It sounds like around this time next week, we'll start chatting about dates and times and all that kind of stuff, assuming that nothing happens before them. It's been a very low key day. I am struggling a little bit from an energy conservation standpoint. So one of my nurses was funny. She was like, you know, you don't have to like stay in the room the whole time and you, know, you can get out and walk around and blah, blah, blah. But here's the catch. I really can only tolerate walking up and down the hall a little bit and it's very exhausting because my belly is so heavy and tight. And to be honest, kind of like the view from my window <laughs> better. <laughs> but also like when I know that Josh is coming to visit, I try to conserve my energy because last night after I had dinner with him and Liam, I was exhausted. I mean, my whole body was just so fatigued. I have been walking down to see them and I'm probably gonna stop doing that, which sucks. So I might actually have to start doing some walks up and down the hallway just to keep my mobility up. But it's just such a catch 22 because the more I move around, the more I place myself at risk for breaking my water, which could be dangerous. <sighs> it's hard kind of finding that balance between what my body wants to do versus what my body is capable of doing, not allowing myself to be stubborn and listening to my body. Today's been a very, very relaxed day. No appointments today, just been talking, you know, and getting, you know, updating doctors and things like that, which is really not much to update. But I'm very excited I get to see Liam and Josh and my dad for dinner. I think I'm gonna try to have Josh plan dinners with Liam and another family member from here on out because Liam's not allowed up to my room and I'm probably not gonna be able to walk myself down anymore. I'm gonna have to get a wheelchair and rather than having to like coordinate with nursing staff and things like that, it's easier just to have Josh help me with that. So it's probably gonna take a little bit more coordination. I'm excited to see them. I haven't seen my dad since Mother's Day, I think. So I'm excited to see him. Just a day at a time. Like I said, it's our theme, day at a time. Maybe we will still be here this time next week. Maybe we won't. I don't know. We're just hoping that if she does decide to come early that it's not like a rapid emergent thing. So we're either hoping that I can make it to 37 weeks or for the plan C-section, or we're hoping that if she does come early that it's a more gradual thing and not like my water completely ruptured. So anyway. So I just saw um, Liam and Josh and my dad, which is great. We had dinner and just like sat and talked outside and it was so nice and like breezy out. While I was out there, uh, Liam was like, when are you coming home, mommy? And um, so we started talking about like number of days and counting on the calendar and me showing him like I just, I came to the realization that this is day eight of what could be a 21 day hospital stay. I don't really have much 
much to say about that. dinner date. I gotta get my Uber Eats. You have to get Uber Eats? I do. Mm. I should have just gotten the burger. It's okay. Be my hot date. We told, we told the nursing staff that you were taking me out on a hot <laughs> date. They're like, all right, well, have fun. All right, have fun. Take her away. <laughs> day nine. Day nine. It has been a very, very lazy day, but Josh is here and Ooh. he did a Walmart run and a steak and shake run. And he's going to uh, present our Walmart haul. We had a, a very exciting hot day outside on the benches. Super hot. You're not ready for these babes. Super hot day. I'm not ready for our haul. Yeah, you're not ready for the little haul that I did. <laughs> you got me so many things. I did. So what all did you get? So let's start off the, uh, the fun. Okay, if you will, the fun. With some amazing maternity jeggings. Oh, okay. Maternity jeggings. Okay. With, Why uh, does it look like those could fit you? Pockets. You probably could. I also got a big Puerto Rican butt, so. <laughs> <laughs> you might not. We'll see. <laughs> so yeah, maternity uh, jeggings. Okay. They don't have front pockets, but they do have. Okay, we can live with that. All right. Eternity shorts. Oh, yes. Okay. Last summer weather, a little hot outside. Okay, but <laughs> these actually do have pockets. I want you to understand that right now it looks like you're wearing them and it is the most fabulous thing that I've seen all day. Your legs look good. Thanks, babe. I think they look better than mine well in those. I've been, uh, I've been <laughs> trying to get my steps in. This is, no, oh, this is making my life. This is great. My, some new sweat shorts nice with pockets okay with pockets these also have some deep pockets okay so you can put some snacks in there okay got ourselves a little <gasps> oh another dress no, or no yeah, yeah. what yeah, is yeah. that it's just a, a maternity shirt okay we'll see if that fits over my whale of a well, belly little simple vibe mm -hmm. simple vibe with another maternity shirt this one's on as well so it's your belly okay Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I love that we have bought more maternity clothes in the past week. Oh, I like that one. We got another. Dress. Does it have pockets? And it has pockets. Yes. For all of your storage yes. needs. Yes. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. And oh yeah, one. yeah, yeah. I like that one. And this one too has pockets. With the pockets, yeah. And that <laughs> ends our haul. Okay. No, but you got me something else. <gasps> My very A own bowl. bowl. <laughs> For all of your cereal holding and or rice holding needs. Got not it. at the same time. Not at the same time. And what? I got you You're one. So... <laughs> and I got me one. Beautiful. Because we have a hot cereal day. And I have my own mug, so I am And you set. have your own mug. It's all come together. We don't have to leave this place. <laughs> we can stay here. Yes, we do. We need, no, we need to no, We need to leave. You did great. Love you. And... So I started having some contractions that were a lot more intense than normal, like in my back and stuff, and back and pelvis, a lot of pelvic pressure. So I got me on a monitor now. It'll probably stop now that I'm on the monitor. We'll see. So just since I've been on the monitor, I've had like six in the last half hour and I had at least probably six before we got on the monitor and Josh goes they just brought my breakfast tray in so I literally have pancakes sitting here teasing me right now Josh goes do you want to eat and I was like no I can't because if we're having a baby 
there's that. So they are going to call my doc and see what we want to do. If we're going to do a, if we're going to do an IV or if we're going to do a cervix check or if we're having a baby. We shall see. Still contracting, so we will see. Almost done with this bag of fluid, and I'm still having contractions. I was three centimeters dilated, 50% effaced when they checked me. It's the first time they checked me since I've been here. Um, I think they're gonna give me another bag of fluid, and there's a contraction. Okay. What are you doing over there? Are you texting? Uh, my mom. Yeah? Yeah. What did she say? She said, how are you? How is she? What's going on? Huh? <laughs> Tell me the thing. Like, we can't say it's D-Day until it's D-Day. I mean, she kind of just did, though. No, she said we're prepared. So she, yeah, she kind of just said it's D-Day. I mean, I wouldn't complain. Would you complain? No, I mean, it'd be less time in here for you, which would be great. I'm just happy if it is, um, like, we had everything in place. Yep. You were here. Yeah. At least it was this and not me on a conference call in the middle of a presentation with <laughs> all and a half people on a Wednesday, which is what I was going to be doing this Wednesday, so. Right. I would have been like, oh, I'm sorry to randomly cancel this meeting. I've got to go well, you might kid. still have to cancel this meeting, but... Well, at least it's not mid-call, like the right. presentation. Right. In front of a bunch of uh, really important people. I am, Hi. it is a cruel joke, but that is sitting right there because I am so hungry. Are you serious right now? Are you going to open that? that? Are you a turd? <laughs> You're such a turd. I, I mean, my, my breakfast is better. I'll make you the breakfast of all breakfasts when you get home. Yes, you will. I want French toast. Hey, I'm I want funny. a freaking mimosa. You know what's funny actually? What? Is I literally, I bought a big bottle of Prosecco. Yes. And I had a mimosa yesterday. Oh my God. Because <laughs> I just wanted one. Uh, and so there is most of a bottle of Prosecco. No, I want fresh. We were, we're gonna do fresh. Waiting in the fridge for you. Beautiful. Clean's right. good. We'll see if it's, we'll see if it's D-Day. She told me to pack. Well, yeah, just in case. Like, just pack up. It's fine. Yeah. I'm not getting overly, overly excited because. I'm sounding all the alarms. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'll How see. Are you? I mean, I'm just done. I'm just all done. I'm ready to be done. All right. Doc just came in. We are having this baby today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Baby girl is officially here. We are so relieved. Um, so I ended up getting my epidural around noon and she was out by 12.37. Crazy. She's here, she's stable, she's beautiful and Uh, I'm just so like, holy cow. That's crazy. She's here. She's here.